Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I'd like to show you what I bought from Hobonichi for 2022. I wasn't planning on making this kind of video because I didn't think I was going to be buying so much from Hobonichi but life had other plans for me so let's just hop right to it. I didn't buy any of these things from the Hobonichi website because again I wasn't planning on buying so many. I was actually going back and forth for two weeks on whether I should get anything or not but after a lot of thought, I decided to just go for it. So first, I got this A5 plain notebook with this gorgeous floral design by, let me see if I can say this right, Yuka Hiragi. And I love this design. It's just so beautiful. I love the unicorn. I love the flowers. I love the little shooting star up top. And this is the item this year that got me really agonizing about whether I should buy something because it's just so cute and I was really thinking about it and convincing myself out of buying it but after two weeks I was still obsessing over it and I took that as a sign that I should just jump on it while I can and I did already open this up because I received this last week and I wanted to see what was inside so let me just go ahead and take it out so here it is without the packaging and the cover is just a plain thick cardstock it's not a hardcover or anything like that. The corners are rounded though, so as you can see, I thought that was a nice touch so that the corners don't wear down as quickly over time. According to the listing, this has 288 pages. The grid is 3.7 millimeters and every 72 pages, the grid color actually changes. So first you get this red grid. I don't know if that's gonna show up on camera. So the first section is red. The next one is blue. Next one is green, I want to say. It's like kind of an olive green. And then the last one is purple. It's really cute. And that's it. There's no other extra pages on this notebook. There's no Hobonichi branding or monthly pages or anything like that. It's just grid pages all the way through, which I thought was really nice because my initial plan for next year was to bullet journal, but Eventually, I changed my mind and I will discuss that later on. But anyway, this was one of the first things I ordered. And I ordered this from a shop in Houston called Little Craft Place. I did order it online and have it shipped to me. And then along with this A5 notebook, I got the Animal Crossing pencil board in the A5 size. And I did play Animal Crossing for a little bit last year when it came out. So I thought this design was just so cute. And I also love the back. It's just this super cute green illustration. So I bought these two together just as a pair. So then after I placed the order for these two, the exact same day, JetPens released their Hobonichi products on their website. And I was a little annoyed because I didn't double check when they were going to launch their Hobonichi products. And had I known, I would have ordered those two on JetPens. But anyway, I went ahead and bought the A6 on jet pens because it was sold out on little craft place and i also went ahead and picked up the stencil as well and i also ordered some other things just so i could get the free shipping but these two are from jet pens so for the a6 plain notebook again it's just a thick cardstock and i got the same floral design because it's just so cute and i also wanted to have it in the a6 size and i do journal pretty regularly so i'm not worried about getting this one this is just gonna go into my notebook stash not a big deal to me but it's just so cute and the a6 notebook has 240 pages so a little bit less than the a5 same size grid though so you can still write a lot into a single page so here they are together aren't they just so cute I'm so happy that I got these two because I have a feeling that these things are going to be really hard to find in the future so I just wanted to have them and then the stencil I haven't opened this one I got the stencil as well because I heard that this goes really well with the grid for Hobonichi so let's take a look and yeah it lines up pretty well so if you like to keep your key neat for example you can use the stencil and it also has these measurements on the side and then this 
grooved edge here if you want something fancy. So then after I got these, I was like, okay, that's it. I'm done for sure. <laughs> But then I decided that no, I'm not done because I'm crazy and I don't know what I want in life. And the main reason is because I decided to change up the way I used my Hobonichi weeks this year just a little bit. And it was a really tiny change that just completely transformed the way I felt about my weeks. And it was pretty much I switched to the Uni Jetstream pen and I changed the way I wrote my to do's on my page. So something that always bothered me about the weeks is that I didn't really like my handwriting on the weekly side because there's no grid on the side. You can't see the grid on the other side of the page if you look really closely, but it was a bit of a struggle for me. I don't know if I'm just getting old and my eyesight's going, but when I would write my task in cursive, it would tend to swoop down like that. And that just really bothered me. So I decided to just change up the way I wrote on my planner. And I decided to just write in print the way I did in my Starbucks planner because when I write in all caps, I tend to write straight. So that tiny change just completely changed the way I felt about this planner. I know I mentioned before that it wasn't love because I just didn't like the way my handwriting wrote. But now that I switched my writing style, it's just so much better for me and I really like it. And I also changed to the you know, jet string pen because I got tired of waiting for my autographic liner to dry. And the pen I'm using right now is the Uni Jetstream F series in the gold body. I think it's what it's called, the silky gold. And it perfectly matches my print pressure cover, by the way. Using this pen just made using my week so much easier. So I thought, okay, I don't think I've been very fair to the Hobonichi weeks this year. I don't think I gave it a very fair shot because I kept thinking back to my Starbucks planner and thinking, I feel like that's a better planner for me, blah, blah, blah. And I just feel like I was too down on the Hobonichi weeks this year. So I'm going to give it one more try next year. And that is my plan for sure. That is the plan I'm going to use for 2022. So I decided to order on Amazon Japan and I got these two. This is the Hobonichi weeks mega in the Oh, I forgot the name. This is the phantom blue color, I think is what it's called on Amazon Japan. And I also got the clear cover on cover in the same design. I just can't help it. This is so cute. And these two actually arrived today. And I had a really good experience ordering from Amazon Japan. It came within a few days, actually. I ordered last Sunday. Today, my time filming this, it's Wednesday night. So that's pretty good. And I haven't opened this one yet, so I'm gonna open it with you guys. My nails match the packaging, by the way. That's really cool. So with the Hobonichi Weeks, you get this little pamphlet. This is so cute. This is my first time getting this because I bought this Hobonichi Weeks pre-loved. And I don't think I received this when I purchased it on Facebook. So this is so cute. So this is a little catalog it looks like. Oh my gosh, how cute is this? Have a neanderful year. <laughs> oh, how cute. My son's gonna love this. So I'm probably gonna give this to him. He's gonna completely wreck it, but that's fine. All right, so here's my Hobonichi Weeks Mega. So the regular Hobonichi Weeks has, let me double check, it has 71 blank pages. And the Mega has, oh, comes with a little sticker thing. It has 215 blank pages in the back. So that is plenty. And I chose the Mega over the regular weeks because Remember when I said I wanted to bullet journal for next year? Well, I'm still going to bullet journal, but this time I'm going to bullet journal in the blank pages in the back. I wanted to combine my memory keeping and my planning into one book, which is why I wanted to bullet journal in the first place. So my plan is to use the blank pages in the back for planning, bullet journal style, and then the weekly pages I'm going to use for memory keeping. So this is where I'm going to be collaging and adding photos and things like that. 
and the monthly pages I'm going to use as a future log. So the monthly pages aren't going to change, but the rest of the weeks is going to be different from the way I plan now, which is just the standard way of planning, you could say, where I would write down my tasks on the left side here and then my tracker and notes pages on the right. It's the same way I planned on my Starbucks planner, but a pain point I had for the weeks is this space is just too small for me. I felt like I didn't have enough space to write down everything I need. Once I get to the last line here, my brain is like, well, that's it. That's all you can do today. So I would rather just write down a list in the back and have it be as long or as short as I needed to be that day. I don't really like being limited to this little row anymore for tasks. So hopefully that works out. That's the plan for next year. I will show more about how I use this week's once we hit the new year and I have the setup. I'm not going to be setting it up just yet. So let's talk about the cover. I was considering either this color or the peach one, but ultimately I chose this one because I'm really into the darker colors right now. Not necessarily neutral, but just the rich dark colors like the emerald greens and the navy blues and the bordeaux reds i think those colors are gorgeous and maybe part of it is my style maturing a little bit but i'm not really into the pastel colors lately so that might change again in the future but for now this was the color that i wanted and this orange print on the front was also interesting to me i thought that looked different and since this is a mega there weren't much illustrated covers for the Mega. I don't think there were any illustrated covers for the Mega actually. It's just the plain colors, which is fine because I'm not that much of a stickler for the cover design. Because as you can see, let me just pull out my 2021 weeks. I just go ahead and design the cover myself if the plain cover really bothers me. So this is the, let me see if I can remember it right. This is the Ivory PU cover. So as you can see, the binding here is different from the Mega. There you go. The Mega's binding is more of a hardcover style book. And then the Ivory softcover one, it's just this, I don't even know what this is. It's just one big piece of PU full leather that they used as the cover. So I was also curious to see what the Hobonichi looks like with this kind of binding, which looks like a typical hardcover book, so I don't know what I expected. <laughs> so as you can see, I do have a clear cover on cover on my Hobonichi weeks. I do like to protect my weeks with the clear cover on cover, and then I put it into a, another cover, which when you say it out loud like that, it sounds really like over the top, but that's part of the fun for me is to get all these pretty covers. So let's go ahead and put this floral cover on top of my phantom blue cover and we'll see what it looks like. There it is. That's so cute. I'm really glad that I got the darker color for the weeks. I think it's a really nice compliment to the cutesy cover, clear cover on cover. How cute is that? Let me see if I can compare the differences between the Mega and the regular Hobonichi. So this is the regular weeks and it's hard to show the thickness because I do put stickers in my planner. So the thickness isn't the same as how it was originally, but as you can see, the Mega is still a lot thicker than the regular weeks, but it's not that much heavier than the regular weeks. Although again, I have a lot of stickers on this one, so maybe that's also a factor. And it is still Tomoe River paper. I know that the future of Tomoe River paper is uncertain right now. So that's another reason why I decided to buy Hobonichi for next year. It's like, oh, should I get these as kind of a last hurrah before Tomoe River paper goes away forever, potentially? Again, I don't know, but I feel like if I didn't go for the weeks and then Tomoe River paper goes away, I'm gonna regret it forever. So yeah, maybe that doesn't make any sense, but I'm happy I bought all this stuff. I don't regret it. <laughs> so yeah, that is my haul for next year. I have my very lovely weeks here. And then my two plain notebooks, my Animal Crossing pencil board, and my stencil. 
I guess it's not a lot when it's all put together like this. It seemed like a lot because I ordered from three different sites, which, uh, you know, I should have just ordered from the Hobonichi website if it was gonna end up like this. <laughs> but anyways, that's a lesson learned for me. For 2023, if I plan on buying another week's, I'm definitely going to order through the website. So thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you bought something from Hobonichi, please do let me know. I love watching these haul videos. It's fun to see what people got and their reasoning behind the planners that they're going to be using and all that. So this is Baba Notes and I'll see you next time. Bye!